So many of you are familiar with 3D printing, how essentially a small strand of plastic is extruded, it moves back and forth and you build layer by layer until you are able to produce parts. Uh, these are called fused deposition modeling or material extruding systems, but that is a small subset of what is available in 3D printing. So additive manufacturing covers a wide array of technologies, which uh, include metal printing. A lot of people aren't even familiar with metal printing technologies, how you can take small metal powders and consolidate them with a laser, again build them up layer by layer, until you end up with very strong metal functional parts. So these are still 3D printed technologies. One area I'm looking into is functionally graded materials to where materials can change as they go throughout the part. So potentially on one side of the part, I have a very stiff material, and on the other side of the part, I have a soft material, and there's a smooth transition in between. So these are things that you're not able to achieve with uh, traditional machining operations or uh, manufacturing operations. So with the uh, 3D printing technologies and advances that I'm studying, we're really looking to open up new doors and expand the boundaries of solutions we can um, create in engineering disciplines. Mm -hmm.